Right, in this video we're going to answer a common question we get about the programming logic used on our Easy Set Logic timers. Um, this is the same logic we use on many of our timers, be they underground timers or hose faucet timers. And once you learn this system, it can be kind of confusing at first, but once you learn it, it's uh, really quite intuitive and can help uh, in programming exactly the way you want it. So let's move to our example for this. Um, this is a six station timer. And so I've got written out an example of a yard that has different watering needs. So let's go through each of these. Um, here we have in the left-hand column the different zones. And then here in the right-hand column we have the run time that we need them to run. Now going through this, we've decided that zones 1, 2, and 4 need to run every other day. So they need to run for this amount of time, 10 minutes, for example, in zone one, but it needs to run every other day. So, and remember zone four. So these ones, we need them to run once every two days. Now zones three and five, we have them running at five minutes but they don't need to run quite as often. Let's say these are flower beds and not lawn. They only need to run once every three days. And then this last zone here, this zone six, this is a drip zone. It needs to run every single day. So we'll put that every one day. And it actually needs to run for 15 minutes, but it needs to run twice a day. And then it needs to run every day. So that one's gonna have multiple start times every day. It's going to run twice every day. Okay, so let's get to programming that. Um, before I begin, let me just uh, emphasize that there's a few steps that you go through. First, you need to program um, the which program it will be on. Um, these timers have an A, B, and C program. Uh, so there's up to three programs. Each program can, can accommodate up to four start times um, and then each start time has a run time uh, of up to, from anywhere from zero minutes to 240 minutes, which equivocates to four hours. And then you need to tell it how often it needs to run. So um, let's get started with that. So here we've got the timer set. Um, we've got the date and time set. So we'll move the, the clock around. This little dash here indicates what you're on. So that's on set clock. We can move it to start time. So up at the top right of the screen, you'll see the program. We're on program A. If we wanted to go to program B, we would click the program button to B to C and then back to A. So let's say that these zones one, two, and four uh, that are running every other day, and the ones here in, in the red, are going to be on program A. So let's give this the first start time, and let's say we want this to run um, starting at 3 a.m. So we're going to adjust the clock down to 3 a.m. And we'll click enter. All right, it's going to move on to start time number two. Now these ones only need to run once each time they run and they need to run every other day. So let's give them a run time. So now we have on the screen up here at the top left which station we're on. And we're on program A and we need to program how many minutes we want it to run. So station one is for 10 minutes. All right, I said 10 minutes, hit enter, and it moves to station two, which is for seven minutes. Hit enter. Now you remember station three is not going to run on this program. We're going to put it on a different program, on program B. So we'll do that in a second. So we don't want that one to run on this program. So how you skip a station is you just leave it at zero. So if you had it you know, set for five minutes and you try to go back down to zero, you'll see that it goes to one and then it goes to 240. You can't set it to zero. So what do you do there? Well, in that case, all you do is hit the clear button, which is right here, and it will take it back down to zero minutes. So we can skip that one. So it's at zero minutes, we'll hit enter. That takes us now to station four, which we have running for seven minutes also. Same as station two, we'll hit enter. Now station five, again, we're skipping that one. So we'll just leave that at zero, hit enter. 
And station six, also skipping that one on this program. So we'll hit enter there. It takes us back to station one. All right, so we've now set our runtime for each of the stations on this program, and we need to, need to tell it how often. So here, if you look along the bottom, you can see the different days um, of the week. There's also a marking that says INT, which stands for interval, and then there's an odd and an even, which is uh, either odd number days of the week or even number days of the week. So this one, we're going to have it run every other day. So we could, we could set that to um, you know, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but then it would again repeat and it wouldn't be every other day. We could do odd and even, which could sometimes work, but there are going to be months where there's, uh, you know, an extra day or one less day than 30, and that might end up causing this to run two days in a row. So what we want to do is probably go to an interval, and, we, and this one we want it to run every two days, which is every other day. So we'll hit enter. And that's set, and then that program is now set. So. We're going to have stations 1, 2, and 4 run every other day starting at 3 a.m. for this allotted amount of time that we have them for. So let's go to program B. That's for zones 3 and 5. And we want those to start at, let's say, at 4 a.m. Okay, we've got it at 4 a.m. Now these also are just running once. They're not going to have a mo another start time. So we're going to leave that blank and we're going to go to our run time. So now this and this is the part where a lot of people get tricked up. They're going to go here and they're going to say, wait a second, I don't want zone one to run. And then they'll adjust that time. And then zone one won't run like it's supposed to for 10 minutes. It'll, it won't run at all. And that's because they have the program still set to A. So what we need to do there is hit over to program B. Remember, we're on program B. So here we have station one. We're going to skip that. Same with station two. Now station three is the one we have running for five minutes. Station four we're skipping. And station five we're also going to have run for five minutes. And station six we're skipping. All right, so those times are set. Now how often? Again, remember, we need to change our program to program B. And this one we're going to do every third day. So in that case, the interval is probably also the best option. We'll set that to once every three days and hit enter. And now program B is set. Now finally, we have this zone, this zone six that we're going to have run 15 minutes twice a day, which is a total of 30 minutes. And that needs to run every single day. So um, this is a drip zone, let's say. So we need to go over to program C. And let's have this start at um, let's have this start at uh, let's say 4:30, and that's when the first time is going to start. So the runtime, program C, we're going to station six. Remember, so we'll skip all of those. Go to station six. It needs to run for 15 minutes, twice a day. And you'll remember that on this last start time button, I set a start time of 4.30, but I didn't do the second start time. So this, in this scenario, it's only going to run once at 4.30, so I need to give it a second start time. So in this case, let's set a second start time, and let's set that for 5 a.m. That'll give a 15 minute buffer between the first and second cycles for the water to saturate the soil and, um, and really penetrate and get, the, get to the roots. We don't need a third or fourth start time, so now we've got two start times and the run time on station six is 15 minutes and it's running twice, so that's a total of 30 minutes. And how often? Well, on that one we want it to run every single day. So that one we could probably just do an interval of one day's and press enter. And then as we move back to auto, it's set. And you're going to see that this, the screen flashes back and forth between the current date and time, which it, the day being Monday and the time being 9.32. And then it tells you the next start time. So the next start time is going to be program C. And it's going to be at 4.30. And then what's going to happen is it starts the interval 
so that the next start time for program A is going to be the day after tomorrow. And then the next program for program B, where it's every three days, is going to be two days from now. So this is, this is just giving you information of what's coming up. So that's how you program this timer. Again, we understand it could be a little bit confusing, but if you watch this video, hopefully that's answered your questions. If you do have any further questions, please uh, let us know. We'd be happy to help resolve those.